Now we're ready to make our pot stand. We take this, we've got our half inch wire fabric. We want to go three spaces, which will give us a one inch pot stand. A little bit more than that, because we want at least one inch. I find I like the wire fabric. Some people will take a circular one with holes punching it, but I don't feel that allows for enough proper airflow through the bottom of my pot. So I find this is the easiest, simplest way to go. I'm gonna to wanna to trim this. The best way I found for trimming, the cross wires on bottom, the long wires on top. Use this as my guide and I'll trim them, trim them up. Now, if I have to distort it a little bit, I turn it a little bit upward because I can always straighten it and I still have to put a radius on it anyways. Go around the other side. We're gonna to wanna to cut this at approximately 12 inches. But what I'll do to make sure, I'll kind of bend my radius and I'll show you how to do that once we get this trimmed. This is where my, our emery cloth comes in handy. You can just take a piece of plywood, a little piece of plywood, a little piece of tin, something to give you a firm surface. Now I'll take, and I'll take that sharp edge off. You can see how easy that is. And it is, otherwise it's a very annoying, easy way to cut yourself, especially when you're working with youngsters. I think it's a good way, and it gives them something more to do and be involved in their the process. But this will take off the sharp, any sharp edges we have. Now, I'm gonna to wanna to bend a radius that'll fit into that recess, that lead recess in the can. I just start very slowly, and I just tweak it around. You don't need any sort of special roller, just take your time and try to keep it as uniform as possible. See how I'm kind of using my thumb, I, I use my fingers as a, my anvil and my thumb is what I give the pressure with. And I just go real slow. I kind of eyeball it, oh, looks like I gotta come a little harder here. See how I'm using both hands now to keep it uniform. I can also look here, I can tell this is longer than I need, so I'm going to have to trim to come to this point. So I have to trim off three squares. I can tell now that's what I want right there. Wasn't difficult at all. Wire fabric like this and metal, it's very elastic or plastic. Just take your time. You can always tweak it. Now we're ready to use our rabbit clips. To use our rabbit clips, put the double-sided jaw with the opening in the center towards the bottom. Take your clip, as you can see your clip as a start of a radius on one side, place that on the bottom. So that's sitting on the widest side of your pliers and hook that into one side. Make sure both pieces are down into the clip, come around and squeeze as tight as possible. Now you're gonna to wanna to put two clips on here. One on the top, one in the middle. This one you leave open, that's so it can set down into the lead recess. We'll do the second one now, there again. Curve side down into the widest side of the jaws. Make sure I'm hooked into both parts of the wire. Squeeze as tight as possible. The jaws are made so they can only squeeze the clip so tight. I can take, if I want to balance this out a little bit, I can take both hands, roll it a little bit. And there we are. A tin can bush cooker. Wasn't that difficult. Make a great project for a Cub Scout, Boy Scout troop. You can incorporate a little bit of science, a little bit of current affairs, a little bit of green technology, and a lot of on-hands education.